Her, a young 20-year-old mother was gunned down in New York City's Upper East Side. She was killed while pushing her three-month-old in a baby stroller. You have New York City Mayor Eric Adams, who took to Twitter, but instead of blaming the shooter, he went after the guns. This is Adams' tweet. He wrote, quote, more guns in our city means more lives lost. It means more babies crying as those who love them lie dead. We cannot allow this epidemic to keep claiming lives. Let's talk a little bit more about this. Former commissioner to mayors Giuliani and Bloomberg, Brian Anderson. Brian, uh, thanks for being with us today. Obviously, you know the city so well. Um, you're from there. Uh, mm -hmm. Apparently, this um, terrible attack on this young mother, uh, that police are saying it may have, if it was a targeted attack, that this person wanted to kill this woman, that they didn't need a gun. Um, but this story is pretty shocking. It's shocking, but sadly, as New Yorkers, we're used to these stories. And, you know, we've been become very hardened when we read about these atrocious episodes, people pushed onto subway tracks. And it seems to be happening more and more often, yet our mayor just claims that it's guns that are doing this. You know, they had 3,080 guns taken off the street so far this year in New York. 3,000 guns. Now, I don't know people that own guns. I know people that would like to have guns because of what's happening, and now that we can legally have ca right to carry in New York State, I don't doubt that some will want some. But where are these guns coming from? They're all illegal guns, and they're committing these, uh, people that have them are committing these atrocious crimes. And we're getting used to it, because we've been here before. You know, we had, uh, before Rudy Giuliani took office, we had 2,200 murders a year in this city. That's seven per day. Seven yeah. per day, well, some, some, some not so many, you know, but on average, 2,200 that year. And now it's below 400, I believe. So his policies that were put in place. What's yeah. horrible is you've been there before and it feels like we're there now and someone has to get it get it corrected. You know, there's this uh, CBS News report that came out about crime rates across the country, Brian. Yes. I'm sure you checked it out. And it's based on all the FBI stats. Nearly half of the U.S. murders in our country go unsolved. I mean, the head of the Murder Accountability Project said it's never been this bad. During the last seven months of 2020, most murders go unsolved. It's never happened before in America. As someone who's worked under Bloomberg, under Giuliani, who's mm -hmm. know, know how to clean up the streets, what needs to be done? Well, I think, you know, that we did it. People just say, okay, we're done with that. Now we can just move on to other things that aren't, you know, that are more important, like diversity and climate change. Um, Again, you know, the numbers are going up. The numbers that are being solved are going down. The net result is mayhem. Um, we're in a lot of trouble. Uh, that number is down almost 10 percent since 2018, the number that have been solved. People are overwhelmed. They're cutting back. They're defunding the police. They're cutting staffs and law enforcement agencies. You know, they're going to be having uh, ambassadors now in West Hollywood um, helping you when, when there's a crime committed. It's the wrong trend here, and I think the American people have had enough. Certainly New Yorkers have, and we have a lot of hope in, in Mayor Adams, but it's just, it's just not working. It seems like it's all talk right now. And obviously it also goes to the district attorneys and the ones who are soft on crime need to be uh, booted out. We did have uh, Chesa Boudin saying he may run again. He may run again, but now he's got a record to run on. And I think uh, the people of uh, San Francisco uh, will judge him accordingly. Uh, I don't know how they elected him in the first place, but being a New Yorker, I hear California just shake my head. I really don't know what's going on out there or what's in the water. But to have elected a man who was the son of two terrorists, who was raided by, raided by a terrorist bomber, um, and yet he runs for office and wins, that should tell you enough. Yeah. Kind of an upside-down world we're living in. Uh, Brian Anderson, uh, tough subject to talk about, but an important one. Thanks so much for being with us on American Agenda. Really good, really good insight from a Thanks, New Bianca. Yorker. You bet. Thank you. Thank you.